Learning construction. Learn, share, expand. Hey guys, I'm Ernesto with learningconstruction.org and um, I want to talk about how to read the plans, more specifically the architectural drawings. So we're going to start with a uh, basic layout on the floor plan which, that I made. And um, what I wanted to talk about is how the floor plans look. Well basically a floor plan is a top view of how the house will look from the east side. On the right portion of the drawings you can see how the uh, drawings show you the layout of the house, the name of the rooms, the functionality of each one of the rooms. Uh, it also show you how the furniture is located and that kind of gives you an idea of where the fixtures are going to be. Light locations, uh, plumbing fixtures and other items. Uh, they also show you how the door swings are going to be. Uh, for example, if you're looking on the living room, they're showing how they have a uh, right hand reverse and, and, and in other areas where they show the uh, left hands and right hands. Uh, if you guys need more help with the uh, door swings, uh, you can check my other video about the door swing types and it can go through how the doors work. On the right section of the drawings, you're going to see uh, more specific items for the area that is going to be constructed. For example, these drawings that I made are actually just for the room addition, and then you can see how they clouded the area where we're going to be doing the uh, room addition. They also have callouts for the window that is going to be used, uh, the overall size of the room, and on the outside of the cloud you have two nodes, um, two little bubbles, and these bubbles basically show you what I, uh, detail you should be looking at and what page you're going to find them. If you guys were actually building an entire building, for example a house, then the, you would see on the floor plan it would have several callouts for specific areas like ladders or fireplaces and callouts for the size they want, their, their niches and closets and such. Okay, uh, on the upper right hand you can see uh, several notes which uh, you can't really read on this picture that I show you guys. but. These notes actually show you general notes for the building and once again they show you the type of window you're using or the type of insulation they want or the size of the walls that you'll be using and other specific notes to the floor plan or the rooms that you will be uh, working on. Uh, it's very important to read these notes because they have several of the items or the typical items that you would want to use, um, for example, the type of sheetrock that you're going to have on the walls. And uh, as a tip, I'll, I'll suggest you to really read these notes before you actually change the page. Um, you know, I've been working in construction for several years, and you don't know how many times I had people come in and ask me a question that I, all I had to do was read on a note on the right side and say, "Okay, here, this is this is where it is." Or on the flip side of the story, how many times I call an architect, ask them, hey, you know, I, I don't know uh, the type of the walls that you're going to be using, and they, you know, they call me back and they say, hey, why didn't you read the notes on the right side of the plants? So, very important, guys, don't forget to read these notes. Okay, the next section of the drawings is what's called the uh, framing plants, and the framing plants have a specific dimensions for the entire building. Um, on these drawings that I show you, this is a, a little house that I designed, so they don't, you know, I, I just pull them out of the corners, but typically on a big building, you're going to have them pulled out of grid lines. And the grid lines are imaginary lines that are going through the building, and you can use them to dimension throughout the building with these lines. Uh, this, is a this is very important, especially when you're doing a multi-story building, uh, then you can actually use the same grid line to measure the difference between walls, uh, you know, this is very important when you're trying to match walls from the first floor to the second floor, especially when you have plumbing lines or HVAC lines that you need to get through, uh, you have to really hit those dimension lines. Uh, another thing that you're going to find on the framing plans are more callouts. These callouts are going to be very specific about where they want the windows, the doors to be located, the opening in between windows, like in this drawing you have several windows in one area and uh, they're gonna have the opening size for the windows. Now for self-experience I can tell you guys you need to know the manufacturer that you'll be using for those windows. That's very important because remember the type of window that you'll be using is 
it will have a different rough opening for the window. Uh, if you want to learn more about windows, you can also see my other video about window openings and rough openings and the standard dimensions and all that good stuff. Okay, another important thing to talk about on the drawings is the uh, stairs and the stairs that will show you how the stairs are located and what's going up and what's going down. On this drawing, you can see it through an arrow that is pointing to the up part of it and it's telling you that it's going from the bottom floor to the top floor. They also call out for the specific sizes and how many risers they want on that stair. It's very important for you guys to remember uh, as you're building, as you're making the building, you want to keep those clearances exactly how they're shown in the drawings, otherwise you'll be inventing stuff down the road and believe me that's not that's not fun at all uh, another thing uh, that you will find on these drawings is the uh, ceiling heights not all the framing plans will show it but sometimes you'll have a separate sheet that shows the ceiling and other times you'll have it on the floor plan they'll show several marks that have the ceiling and it'll, it'll be called a CLG and it'll basically be telling you what the height for the ceiling in the area is or where they want soffits or drops and such items. Um, another item on a separate type of floor plan you know, depending on the, on the size of the drawings they will have these bubbles inside of the building like you can see next to the gathering room on side by side these are actual call outs for the interior elevations uh, the interior elevations are basically cuts of the building from the inside as you were standing and you can see how they want the windows or the doors or the furniture, cabinets, fixtures and such items they are going to be noted on these interior elevations. Okay, well I hope this video helped you guys and I'll have more videos about how to read plans and I'll, I'll go through other type of uh, drawings. Uh, I hope you guys liked it and keep watching us on learningconstruction.org or on this channel. Thank you.